Kaplan from Kaplan Cycles and Rockwell Construction. And uh, today I'm going to tell you all about our heavy equipment hauler. It's a 15 ton tandem axle dually. It uh, has a 29,600 pound GVWR rating and a 25,400 pound capacity. So it's perfect for hauling back hose. This is essentially a brand new trailer. Um, it was owned by a friend of mine who used it for his farm. He had it since it was new and uh, it was. Um, been sitting for a while so we stripped it right down to the frame we took all the wood off of it and uh, if you look uh, it's snowing out right now but if you look at the quality of the wood this is old growth oak this isn't just pressure this, uh, the, the cheap stuff this came this was a uh, um, uh, milled off my farm from old growth old growth oak and it was uh, clear coated and polyed both the bottom of the wood and the top of the wood and all stainless hardware was was used on it when it was put together the um, like I said, it was stripped right down to the axle. The annual inspections were done. Uh, the wood was taken off, the wheels were taken off, the, the entire wiring harness was removed, and um, the, the entire trailer was stripped. It was um, sandblasted and stripped, and we used POR, uh, which is, I don't know if you've heard of POR, but it's the same stuff they used to paint bridge abutments, and this is uh, it's for stopping rust permanently. So it's a, it's a three-stage process with a base coat rust converter, a clear coat, and a top coat. Um, the, uh, the, um, the trailer, uh, the cost of just the materials alone for doing the, the uh, uh, paintwork was $800 just for the paint. There's a total of $9,800 has been invested into the restoration of the trailer, and I'll go over that with you. Um, it was $2,200 in, in repairs. Uh, Brand new brakes. The entire brake system was taken off and thrown out. It has a brand new brake system, drums, uh, pads, everything's brand new. Um, $1,700 in tires. It has eight brand new Power King tires. These, these tires are the uh, uh, low profile 9 14 5s. They're a little bit wider. They make an 8, eight inch. This is the wider one. Uh, so they're brand new tires. The tires have less than 100 miles on them. The wood, it cost me $400 just to have the wood milled from my farm. And um, like I said, eight hundred dollars in paint, all brand new LED lights on the trailer all the way around. It was three hundred dollars for the lights, and about eighty dollars for the clear coat. So the um, total cost of the parts and materials and the new brakes was five thousand. The tires was five thousand four hundred and eighty, and over over a hundred hours of labor uh, at a hundred dollars an hour. So uh, excuse me, over forty hours of labor at a hundred dollars an hour. So there's about four thousand in labor and uh, fifty four eighty in parts. And then the graphics package was $400, so it was a total of $9,880 put into the trailer, which is about what you could have bought a, a cheap new one for, but this is a really heavy duty, um, commercially made trailer with all 3 8 inch steel, uh, overbuilt. It's not built, it wasn't built. I mean, if you look at the quality of this, look at the I-beams on this trailer, super heavy duty. The, uh, if you look at the paint, look at this, this is a, a three-state process with clear coat, it's super shiny, super hard. Um, the toolbox in the front here, was actually after it was sandblasted, the three-stage process was put on there, and then a bed liner material was put inside of there. So there's a bed liner material inside of there. New clip for the uh, uh, for the jack. The jack was serviced and clean. All brand new wiring from the front to back. The entire wiring harness was thrown out and replaced with brand new Bargman wiring. Uh, a new breakaway box. Look at this brand spanking new breakaway box. I have the annual inspection that was done on it less than 100 miles ago. Two and five eighths inch uh, pintle hook on the front. Brand new chains, brand new uh, breakaway uh, um, brake cable. So it, basically the frame is original, but it was stripped down to the frame and completely everything was redone on it. All new LED lights, The uh, spare, even the spare tire is brand new. So you have nine brand new tires on the trailer uh, with less than 100 miles on them. Um, realistically, it's probably got about 30 miles on the tires and the brakes. So everything's brand new on the trailer, including the deck, the paint, the custom graphics uh so it's really really in pretty fantastic shape let, let me come around this side here i'll show you some of the paperwork i have on it um the uh i've got the original uh title to the motor vehicle i mean to the trailer uh from the state state of connecticut department of motor vehicles um and i've got uh the receipt from solomon tires for the brand new nine tires was a uh, $1,708 with, with the powder coating on the wheels. Here it is right here, $1,708. Um, the, um, I have the original uh, manufacturer's plate showing the 29,600 GVWR 
in the 24,000 uh, pound load capacity. The trailer model is at 12T100. Um, so then I've got the uh, I've got the um, record of annual inspection here that was done uh, on October of 2013, and the trailer has been used only for parades in town here and as a bandstand for our a uh, couple events we had here i have not hauled anything on the trailer at all i have not put a piece of heavy equipment on it since we restored it you can see the deck has no marks or mars from tracks or anything it looks like a brand new uh, deck because it is there's never been any equipment on there so i have the annual inspection that was done um and i have the receipt from connecticut trailers and i'll go over the parts that were installed into it uh it has a uh, um inspect all lights and electrical harnesses uh so they um, replaced the entire uh, light system and harnesses. Uh, they inspected the breakaway system and battery and replaced that with a brand new breakaway system and battery. Um, they used, uh, um, of course, high temp axle grease, uh, a brand new LED breakaway system, a 10 foot uh, Bargman trailer ends, a full wiring kit, uh, easy lube axle uh, caps, um, and brand new bearings, and brand new safety chains, and brand new quick link um, for the safety chains so that the total invoice that I have in my hand that comes with it is two thousand two hundred and three dollars so that was for the, the entire new braking system and wiring system on the trailer that did not include the lights that was another, another uh, three hundred dollars for the lights and here's the receipt for the POR all the paint product was eight hundred and seven dollars so I have receipts for everything uh, I, I told you was done in the trailer and like I said just under ten thousand dollars ninety eight hundred dollars was invested in the restoration of the trailer and it is like brand new it really is a showpiece um so again it was manufactured by custom trailer of atlanta uh, it's a twin tandem axle dually trailer um model 12 t100 and again a 24,000 pound uh cargo capacity uh on the trailer uh that that you know it's a 30 29,600 pound gbwr we subtract the weight of the trailer and it tows like a dream uh, we tow it behind our one ton dually um I had two of these. The other one we just sold. The other one we sold did not have the brand new tires on it. It did not have the brand new brake system or electrical wiring. It looked like this, but it was, uh, you know, didn't have all the brand new uh, um, service components on it. If you look at the side of the trailer here, this is a, this is a, a one way you can tell on these construction trailers. These side I beams usually get all bent up. This thing's straight as an arrow. I know it's snowing out a little bit. Hopefully you can see how, how clean and beautiful the paint job is on this. And it's a nice clear coat. The graphics were professionally done. And if you look underneath here, it, um, you can see uh, it's got an eight-wheeler decal, which is kind of cool. Um, the, the couple of custom touches we did, uh, we did the um, uh, all stainless hardware, all brand new hardware on the rims. The rims, after they were powder coated, they were pinstriped. The bottom of the frame was pinstriped by hand also. It's a red pinstripe all the way around. Uh, everything was completely refinished on the trailer, and you can see it's in beautiful condition. Unfortunately, the snow here is kind of taken away. Uh, oh, by the way, this, this trailer is stored indoors. It's not sitting outside in the snow when we're done with this video. It's going back in the, in the, uh, in the uh, storage uh, facility underneath the building in, in the garage. So that's about it. Um, oh, I wanted to show the, uh, the uh, LEDs. Come around the back here. These lights are really cool. Hey, Rich, um, hit, hit the, hold on a second, back here. Hit the brakes, Rich. You see it has a, uh, go on, on and off a couple times. You can see it's got the LED lights in there. Uh, brand new chrome license plate uh, lights, brand new license plate um, illumination uh, and the running lights. Uh, go ahead and hit the turn signals, Rich. Left turn signals. These are called halo lights, uh, these right here, and they have brand new rubber around them, uh, new lights and all new wiring. Uh, hit the uh, right turn signal. So you can see, uh, hit the brake lights. As you can see, all the lighting works perfectly as it should because it's brand new and so is the wiring harness. So um, the ramps are in beautiful condition. There's no damage on the ramps. They're perfectly straight, top and bottom. And that's a clear sign. I mean, usually, that's the first thing that gets hammered on a trailer like this. And again, this was owned by, by a farmer who used it to, to transport his backhoe, and it wasn't really used very much. So um, it was straight as an arrow. And that's, if you ask yourself, why would I put this much time and effort into a trailer and sell it? Well, we ran out of money on the, on the museum restoration project, so we're selling it to raise some funds to finish the project. And um, it's in brand new condition. If you have any questions about it, give us a call, 860-454-7024. 
If you want to come take a look at it, we're at 200 West Main Street. The annual inspection was done, uh, um, and it, it doesn't need anything. So it was freshly inspected. All new brakes, wheels, tires, everything's brand new. Wheel bearings, so should uh, have years of good service on this trailer. And if you buy this, your taxes and insurance are going to be less because it's a it's an older trailer. Um, your property taxes. So rather than buying a brand new one, you'll save on that. And uh, it sure is a conversation piece. It's a really unique, beautiful trailer. So good luck bidding on it. And God bless America.